keyboard shortcuts. Something you see the pros using all the time, yet most people don't seem to use them enough, especially when most of us work within the browser. So here's 15 Chrome keyboard shortcuts as fast as possible that you need to start using right now. First up is Control Shift N, which opens a brand new private browsing window. I'm sure this needs no explaining and thought just to get this one out of the way to help everyone out. Pressing the Control and T key will open a new tab. No need to drag your mouse cursor around and aim for the plus right at the top in the tab area. It's basic but one that will pay big time saving dividends if you start using it right now. Similarly, pressing Ctrl and then W will close the tab you're on. Oh, and if you like my new tab start page for Chrome, I'll leave a link to a video on Chrome extensions that I did in the description of this video. Now if you do close a tab by mistake, then pressing the Ctrl, Shift and T key will reopen the close tab. If you used to right click at the top to get the menu for this action, then I guess this is a bit of a time saver. But if you're someone who used to go into their history to do this, then I guess you're welcome. Talking about history, if you press the Ctrl and H key, you get right at your browser history. Rather than going through multiple menus, this is quite a useful time saver. Now if you're a productivity machine, then you might even use multiple browser windows. So here's two in one. To close a Chrome window, press Ctrl Shift W. And if you need to reopen one that you closed, press Ctrl Shift T. What can also be useful is opening stuff in new tabs. Instead of right clicking the link and pressing open in new tab, just Ctrl click. As you can see, the tabs are opened in the background. Or if you have your trackpad configured properly, just tap with three fingers. I use this one all the time. If that's not good enough though, then shift clicking will open a link in an entirely new Chrome window and pressing Ctrl and shift while clicking will open a link in a new tab and take you to that tab as well. Next up is Ctrl L. This will immediately teleport your typing cursor to the address bar so you don't have to drag your cursor there manually. A nice little time saver really. If you use Google as your search engine, which most of us do, unless you use Bing for some odd reason, pressing the Ctrl and K key will immediately take you to the URL bar where you can now search with Google directly. What's also quite handy is bookmarking stuff. Instead of pressing the star icon in the URL or dragging it into the bookmarks bar, press the Ctrl and D key and then enter to quickly bookmark bookmark website. Talking of bookmarks, if you need to give your PC to someone quickly, you can press Ctrl, Shift and B to enable and re-enable the bookmarks bar. This way, you can be sure people are not snooping around at your bookmarks and folders. Another quick one is Ctrl J, which will take you straight to your downloads folder. Now you don't need to head to the three dots in the corner and click the drop down menu. You're welcome. Now I'm sure you might have used Ctrl Tab or Ctrl Shift Tab if you're a little more advanced to cycle through your tabs forwards and backwards. But if you have a lot of them open, then use Ctrl and then a number instead as this will skip directly to the tab in that position. This is definitely one of the more pro shortcuts. So if you knew this one, then leave a comment below. Pressing Alt Home will take you to whatever you have set as your home page on Chrome. This way you can basically assign any website as this keyboard shortcut. You can change this website in the Chrome settings. I usually have this set to Google or any other frequently visited site, but you can change this like I've done here. Now if you use Windows, then chances are you're probably not using all the shortcuts you should be using to be more productive. If so, check out this video right here. Anyway, hope you found this video valuable, see you later and thanks for watching.